Because I want to tell the truth what happened. Because I didn't do nothing, man. I promise. I put this on my eight kids. I love them. Death. I didn't do anything. So we've got to hear your side of the story to try to figure out what happened. You know I got eight kids. You ain't got no kids. You ain't trying to feed your motherfucking self, folks. I am 22 years old. I ain't got nothing to do with none of this shit. Two life sentences. For what? Friends, this is 22-year-old Lintonio Quinn. Yes, he really does have eight children. He's been questioned in the death of his cousin, David Washington, in 2018. So in this video, we'll have Lintonio's interview. Then we'll have the interview of suspect number two, Cleveland Golden Jr. And then we will have the interview of the getaway driver, Tatiana Williams. All the images you'll see are from the crime scene. Um, listen, you know, I just want to tell you before we get started, we already know everything. We know that this was a robbery. It was a robbery that wasn't supposed to turn out like this. David D. wasn't supposed to die. We know that. That's your people. This wasn't supposed to happen this way. Okay? But the problem is that right now... Huh? The problem is that right now we've got David D. dead. And we've got those people that were in that house. We've got their side of the story. All right. And their side of the story really isn't helping you out right now. You know what I'm saying? So we've got to hear your side of the story to try to figure out what happened, what really happened. Because if we don't get that, it's only ever going to be their side. And we understand that it was just going to be a robbery. Because I have no parts. I don't care what nobody say. I got witness where I was at the time. Okay. If you're telling us that you're wanting a lawyer, we can't ask you any questions. But just remember this. We've got the neighbor has video surveillance of it. And also the car that y'all took over there is financed. And they got a GPS tracker on that car. So we can put you there. We know you're there on surveillance. So if you want to try that bullshit that you weren't there and you got people there, that shit ain't going to work. Ain't nobody going to stand up in court for you and tell that bullshit when we got you on video. We've got okay. you on video loading, trying to load him up in that car. And we got your people looking at the video saying, that's Pooh right there. I know that's Pooh because I've grown up with him all my life. Okay. So we can stop with all that bullshit that you weren't there. We know Pooh's there. Okay. And if you're going to try that, you're on a sinking ship, cuz. And you'll spend the rest of your life in prison. Because all these other jokers are going to get up there and say, man, this is what happened. It was it was up to this, this. We went over there. This happened. So if you want to go down on that ship, you sink it. Two life sentences. For what? No, I'm just saying, for example, if I get me a lawyer and I, and I still tell y'all the truth, I'm going to still end up getting charged with more than we what I... We know what the thing is, Pooh, is you need to show some remorse. And not come in here and try to say, I wasn't there. I don't know nothing about nothing because that's horse shit. We know it's horse shit. We got you on video. The only thing that you can do that you can get yourself out of prison is go in there and say, you know what? I take responsibility for my actions. It wasn't supposed to happen this way. It went sideways. But this is what happened. This is my fault. This is my responsibility. But you know what? If I tell I'm going to share the other... Boy. If I tell y'all right now, can I still get? Yes, uh, that's your attorney. right. That's your constitutional right to have an attorney before we talk to you. So we're done at this point. And we're I'm gonna, gonna be take you when all that shit happened. For I promise God, I didn't know none of that shit was gonna happen. All I know is he told me he said, "Man, we finna go ahead and buy some weed." That's all I fucking know. As soon as we got there, next thing I know, Cleve Cleve Gordon Junior. He the one. Pick up the pistol on that man. I just thought it was just for us. We were finna get buy some weed and leave. Cause I wanted to tell the truth what happened. Cause I didn't do nothing, man. I promise. God. I put this on my eight kids. I love them death. I didn't do anything. I promise. Just supposed to be get some weed and go home. Eight kids. I'm not finna rob nobody. You know I got eight kids. You ain't got no kids. You ain't trying to feed your motherfucking self, folks. I am 22 years old. I ain't got nothing to do with none of this shit. So we go in the house. I ain't seen no gun on nobody until we got in the house. David D picked up the gun and hit stuff on in the head. And Cleve took his gun out. And I'm stuck. I'm like, what the fuck going on? 
Please tell what you say. What, I, he said, what you feel? I said, I'm finna go. I ain't got nothing to do with this. I'm finna go. I got eight kids, bro. And he snatched me, brought my shirt back in the house. Who did? Clean. The same clothes. I ran for you all in. The same as that clothes. Them red pants. Mm-hmm. And this blue shirt. Well, who, who was all, besides y'all, who all was in the house? Or where were they at in the house? Steph uh, was there by the door. Then the, did y'all knock on the door and just open it or what? I knocked on the door because I know the dude. I knocked on the door because he served me weed. So I knocked on the door. He was like, what's up, little bro? I like, nothing. I need something to smoke. And he was like, all right, come on in. So I come on in, next thing I know, me and him, we talking to communicate, and we finna better walk outside. All I know, David, he shut the door. Don't nobody move. I say, man, I ain't got, I ain't got time for shit, y'all know. I say, I ain't robbing nobody, I ain't got time for that. He says, it's too late now, it don't even matter. It's not too late, bro. I got eight kids, y'all don't got kids, y'all don't look at this shit. Well, where, where were the other two people in the house? The, 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 two, the white girl and the white guy? On the couch. Okay. And then what happened? Man, I tried to go out the door where well, the white, the other white dude came in. Came in? It was another one. The one that shot David D. What, what do you mean another one? White dude. I thought, I thought Stefan was in the house. It was Stefan, the, the, uh, the, the, the white dude and the white girl that was together. And it was another white dude that came to the house. Did he walk up or did he drive he up? He drove up. What drove up and then he came in the house. Stephon was like, man, go back out the door. Just go back out the door. So I'm trying to go out the door. That's when got there. Cleet grabbed me. Talking, you ain't going no motherfucking well. So I'm like, man, let me go. Let me go. So he didn't want to let me go. So next thing I know, the white dude pulled his, his gun and he started shooting. The bullet went right past my face. I'm sitting up crying. This thing I know. I see my cousin get shot. He's shooting inside the house? The white guy is? <laughs> or outside the house? Huh? Outside. Outside now? Okay. But it went right past my head as soon as I ran out the door. Were y'all running? Around, I see my cousin fall. Were y'all running away? Oh, I was running away. I don't know what they was trying to do. I was running away for my safety. I was running. What happened? I, when we left, when we got back in, in the car, he talking about you tell anybody anything. I promise to God I'm going to kill you and your kids. And well, that's what all said. Well, how'd you get to the car? I ran. I was trying to run fast as I could. By the time I jumped in the car, I said, Cleve on the side getting in. I told him to get out. He said, I ain't getting out of shit. And he put this pistol on me. Okay. Okay. So I spotted it from a distance when he fell. I knew something was wrong. Okay. Where did you go once you saw him fall? I tried to pick him up. Okay. I tried. Okay. And... At that point, had the car come around, or did you try to take him to the car, or what'd you do? I tried to take him to the car. I tried. I tried. Okay. And where was the car at that point? Oh, Bill, please, when he got the car. Uh, I, I'm going to be, I'm not, I ain't going to say he went and got the car. It was somebody in the car, man. Some other dude, when I tried to put David D in the car. I didn't even pay attention to who the fuck he was. My mind so was so lost, and I was trying to think. I tried to put my cousin in the car. That's all okay. I was thinking about. All right, so... Yeah, he told me I was going to kill me, so I ain't know what do. I know what to think, so I was just shocked. Okay. I was scared to come to y'all, because I felt like y'all was going to kill me or me dangerous. And I'm not or me dangerous. Okay. So when Tatiana pulled the car up, did she tell you tried to help load... Your cousin back in the car. <laughs> she didn't pull up the car. It was Damien. <laughs> I mean, you realize Tatiana no, is I'm, right I'm, over there. Yeah, it was. Uh, my mind, I can't think straight right now. Y'all need, y'all have a secret. I need to think straight. <laughs> we'll probably get you on it. We need to get through a little bit of this thing. Because for Tatiana car pulled, there was another car. Okay. I'm right not there. saying, I'm not saying Tatiana's car pulled up. I'm saying when Tatiana pulled up and drove up in her car. Yes, ma'am. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Look, this is not the time to start telling me a bunch of bullshit. Yes, ma'am. I'm listening. And I know you're trying to protect Tatiana. And I can appreciate that and I can respect that. 
because you're looking after those kids. But look, it is what it is. You know? All right, this, when she this, pulled, she didn't know what was going on either. I'm going to just be honest. She didn't know what was going on neither. Me and her were both clueless. Mm -hmm. So, next thing I know, she was like, babe, what I'm finna do? I said, shit. I said, man, I want to go back and get my cousin. So we can take her to the hospital. Please say, we ain't going no fucking way. You finna take us back to T8. If you if you turn around, I'm going to kill him. What the fuck? What you going to kill me for? Oh, because goddamn, you going to tell on me. You damn right, because I ain't had nothing to do with it. Then we were like, shit, I'll kill you right now. I just said, I ain't going to tell me. I'm going to just sit right here. And that's what I did. Ran from y'all because I was scared. Okay, so far, there's three main key points. Number one, he went to go buy weed or drugs in general. Number two, he had no idea there were guns in the place. And number three, he would never ever rob his cousin, who of course is the victim, David. His expressions tell me he's probably being honest. But at the age of 22, him having eight kids, holy Moses, he sells drugs himself. He cannot be that naive to think this was not going to happen. What do you think? Well, Lintonio, I mean, the problem that I'm having here is that I've talked to a lot of people, all right? And you've sat here and seen me over here talking to her. I already know everything, yes, okay? Yes, I know that you guys went over there to rob Stefan. I know that. I did. Okay. I promise. All right. Look, look. It is what it is, man. You went over there. I put this on my bed, her. baby. No, my just, baby dead and gone. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't. I didn't know nothing. What was going okay, on? Everybody right. telling y'all that's a lie. I didn't know nothing. I promise to God, I didn't. Okay. Listen to me. I know for a fact that you went over there to hit a lick on Stefan. <laughs> All right. I know that you went over there to get your bill money because you guys are trying to move. I know that this is not the time to be trying to distance yourself from that. Because whether you say I didn't know it was going to happen like that or not, the fact is it happened. And now you're here. But if you start trying to do bullshit and tell me all this kind of stuff like that, it's not going to help you out. It's not going to help you. So now's the time for you to just lay it all out there. Because when your story doesn't match everybody else's story, guess who's going to get fucked up? You. Antonio, it, it would have been believable if when that stuff happened, like you just said, a lot of that, that, that you would have that that come. There, there's a lot of stuff there that's true, but there's a lot of stuff that's not. That you would have come forward right then and there, okay, if, if that was the truth. But like she said, there, this is the biggest thing that's ever going to happen to you in your life right now, okay? You have a dear friend, homeboy, cousin, family that's gone, all right? And wherever he's at, hopefully he's up there. He's looking down, all right, on you and not shaking his head, saying, this motherfucker's a lie, you know? My cousin, no, I ain't going to lie with him like So that. be a man and be honest. Yeah, fuck it. The the, all right, we're supposed, I was supposed to be in rock this man a couple months ago. I'm going to be flat out. If I get a license, I'm going to kill no more. But I don't rob people. I'm gonna be honest. That's not my 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 lingo. I say adult. That's me. Work. Okay, we was behind on the bills. I got tired of her hounding me every fucking day. How this gonna get paid? How that gonna get paid? Okay. So boom, Clee came to me personally. He said, "What's up with the dude that's still across from where you stay at?" I said, "Man, I ain't really on that robbing shit." And I told him just like that. Then he was like, I heard you had a lick, though. I was like, yeah, I got a lick, but I'm not on that rob shit. I said, you can go do it, though. So, boom, man, long story short, once we got them, once he, he was like, shit, got them, anything go wrong, you tell me I'm going to kill you. Don't do the exact words that came out of his mouth before all this shit happened. Huh? So, boom, after that, goddamn, that's when Stefan called me for some pills, some X pills. I say, man, I said, I got, what, 10 of them left. And he was like, come to the house. And I told Clee, I said, man, look. Whatever go on, I ain't got shit to do with that. If y'all gonna rob that man, I say, God damn, I'm not even coming. He's like, well, there ain't gonna be nothing like that. We just finna get some weed and leave. So I get in the house. I see, goddamn, 
my cousin pull this gun out, and I see got now what's name pull this out. So I get ready to run out the door. Clee, grab me. Where you going? This a robber. I'm I'm not finna sit here. Or if you tell me I'm gonna kill you, this way you said in front of everybody. I'm scared. I'm shook up. So I'm standing there. I'm lost. I don't got no gun or nothing. I see. What what kind of gun did Cleve have? 940, 45, 380. Uh, I want to say a nine. Okay. Uh, small, oh, semi-auto. Small, compact nine. Small, compact nine. Okay. What David have? David had a, I want to say it, it, it was a revolver. I don't know what it was. I'm going to be honest. I sent him with a revolver. Okay. And then after that, that's when I tried to leave out. Do I see the white dude pull up when I seen him pull up? I'm like, man, I'm finna go. I'm now, finna... you sure there's a white guy that fucking pulled up? I'm so proud. I put this on my dead baby. God bless her soul. Man pulled up in the yard in a black car that looked like a photo of Nissan. The, two, the photo, real small Nissan, old school. He pulled up. Stefan said, no, go back out the door. And, and we're almost done. I need a bro. smoke. All right. Where where do you, do you think Cleve is over there by the school? Give me some Cause, cause I, I, if I give y'all this information, like please to, don't say I get, please, I don't no. want to be dead. I'm going to be, I don't want to die right now. I, I, I got too much to live. I want to go pick Cleve up now. I'm going to be dead on the switch. Okay. I was so scared I was in a tree. Were you? Back over there by where you ran? Where, where, where I stayed. Where the car crash? That's my house. Mm-hmm. Earns why I ran, I'm going to be on the switch. I was scared. Everybody told me they finna come kill me. And then I looked at the news, armed and dangerous. I'm thinking to myself. I haven't done anything. Well, but but think about this from our standpoint, okay? If we work a murder, yes, sir. and the person shot, and the people we talk to yes, sir. says the people that come in had guns, okay? Well, they don't know who's who or whatever. So yeah, we have to we notify not only our officers but the general public that these people are armed and considered dangerous, so yes, they don't try to do something on their own and get themselves killed. Well, how far how far away were you in a tree? The next door. So you watched them do the search warrant all night yeah. and all that shit? I watched all that. I watched when they came and kicked the door in and there. I mean, used the thing to knock the door down. Is that right? I seen. When the, I, I watched everything. I got you. I watched when y'all flashed the light in the tree at me four or five times. Is that right? Well, how about that? I wanted to come down and turn myself in, but I was like, spook. Then my kids, it's like they sitting there. It's just something about my kids with, I don't know. I understand, man. <coughs> I understand. That's like when y'all just came and got me. I was smoking on the motherfucking blunt. Trying to ease my mind. That's like before I got here, I wanted to ask. Oh, Go ahead. Mm-hmm. You can ask. Was I going to be charged with murder? I mean, honestly, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I mean, yes, yes you're going to be charged with it because of the simple fact that you were there when it took place, whether or not you say you had a gun or didn't have a gun. But the biggest part, and like I said, a lot of people, I know when something like that happens, you're scared. But the only way to kind of get around that and to help is when that shit goes down, come straight down, call the police, come straight down to the sheriff's office and say, hey, this is shit just went bad. This is what happened. But when you're on the run for two, three, four days, you know, it that makes bad. it look bad. Absolutely. I talked to a lawyer man. He told you know? me that. He said, man, just try to stay out tight and got dog on, get somebody to help me pay pay for you. Uh, what well, my auntie had to do, he wanted 10 bands. Cause he said, my case ain't really that big because I was telling him about it. I told him everything what happened from the get go. He said, I, I kind of believe, he said, I ain't gonna say, sit here and say, I kind of believe you, I believe you. And like I told him, I've been killed, my cousin, and this man threatened me. If I tell he was gonna kill me and send his boys after me. If y'all ever heard of SBG, them boys don't play, them boys like they come in packs. You talking about silver pack gorillas? Th- that's oh, my yeah. brother now. They come in packs, they don't. What's your date of birth, brother? 1696. That's why I was scared to tell y'all anything to my brother. I know how my brother them is, and they crazy. I got you. All right. Before he does that, let me read this to you, okay? It says, you do not have to consent to a search of yourself or your property. You do- us. By us. By us. 
So when y'all put me in the jail, y'all don't make sure nobody don't kill me. I'm gonna be straight up honest with y'all. I mean, we're going. When, we can. I'm saying that y'all best bet. When we go over there, we will tell them. I mean, if you want us to, we will tell them to. Um, Man, it's a lot of people want me. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all sitting here shit. So like I just told him, SBG, that's my brother. He in jail right now. Mm -hmm. Michael Will Quinn. If my brother see me, he gonna kill me. Cause I told him one his best friend. If your brother sees you, if my brother see me, he gonna kill me. Your own brother? My man, y'all, y'all don't know how crazy y'all don't know. I swear y'all don't. Okay, I mean we'll put you, we'll mark you as a keep away from Michael Quinn and you know all that stuff. So if you don't have any questions and you agree to that, you sign right there and we'll get your sample. And what what do you think as far as Cleve? I mean, obviously he probably got old ladies running him around wherever he needs to go. You think? She ain't got no car. Right, so that's the end of his interview. Before I get to Cleveland's interview, the other suspect, let's summarize. He claims him, Cleveland, a few others, went to a house. David was in there. Pop, pop. Someone took a shot. He doesn't really have an, any idea what happened. And then he left. What happened after that is David stumbled outside, stumbling, having been shot. And then eventually he died on the floor. Unfortunately, there's no images of David I can show you. Lintonio was sentenced to 25 years in prison for his part. And this is because in Florida, if you are part of a robbery, even though you didn't commit the murder yourself, you'll still be charged with first or degree murder. One idiot this guy is. Anyway, let's get to Cleveland. I think you already kind of know. Yeah, I was just like, man. Like I told them, I would have been turned myself in, but like I, I don't know what's going on. You feel me? Okay. Me and my old lady got right, got into an argument Tuesday that morning. I'm walking towards W Street. My the two dudes that I used to know, David and uh Poo Poo. I used to know both of them back growing up in the Post Coast Village. And I jumped in the car with them. We riding. I asked him. My old lady called the phone and asked him, "Can I go with some food before they eat?" And he said, well, bro, I'll get you some food. I'll take you by the food place, get something to eat. Just hold up for a minute while we stop by 48 very quick. That the time we said that, he on the phone with a dude, black dude named Shannon. The people that, that stay in 48 at that white house in the corner. So I'm like, okay, it's, it's all right, it's cool. Bro, we all gonna get out. All right. I said, man, what y'all ain't nothing crazy from going right quick, you know what I'm saying? But y'all got me, I ain't got nothing. You feel me? Like, no, ain't nothing crazy from going, bro. Spook said, we know the dude. So they get out the car. That's when he got the car. He has me sitting in the yard, standing in the yard. So I stood in the yard for a minute. Five minutes later, I say, well, he'll say, the wild dude say, uh, you ain't get nothing, you ain't get nothing. And I heard David like, well, you gonna give me what I want now. And I, I gave you my this and that right here. So I'm like, I knocked on the door. And I, as missing me knocked on the door, David and Poo Poo shoot out, boom, run out the door. Like that, he said, come on, by the time I, me from before I leave, the white dude draw the gun on me. And I'm telling the white, hold up, I don't know what was going on. He said, just stay right there, just stay right there. So I don't have nothing going on. So by that time, David shot, boom, when he shot, I took off. And this thing know he just shoots a shoot out. And I, I just ran, kept on, kept on running, kept on running, kept on running, kept on running. As Miss Me trying to run, I called back and tell Poo Poo, Poo Poo like, bro, he all right, he in the, he in the car with us. I'm like, man, I, I need y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got something going on, I don't know what's going on, bro. Y'all got me to miss this shit right here, I don't know what's going on. So they say, man, ain't nothing going on, ain't nothing going on, ain't nothing going on. So finally, when I seen the news, I seen they said David had got killed. So I'm like, what the, man, this ain't right. So I called, the, I'm at the TA in two minutes. And I tell his brother what happened. You know what I'm saying? Brother asked me why I live. I ran. They shoot me. I don't have no gun. I don't have nothing. For one, I wasn't supposed to be in this spot, but they put me in this spot because they asked me to hold on real quick while they were handling some business. All right, listen. You know, it sounds to me like there's more to this story than Man, everything that we've heard so far. So I really would like to hear the whole side of the story I'm from you. Up. So hang on, hang on, yes, hear me out. So that we don't just operate off of one side of the story okay so in order for me to do that i gotta ask you some questions but ask in order for me to ask you the questions we gotta go over this okay, okay i'm sure you've seen this I, before on tv so just hang on hang on this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna read this and you're gonna listen yes ma'am okay 
And if you agree to everything that I talk about here, yes, you're going to sign this and then we can talk, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used as evidence against you in court. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. You have the right to have a lawyer present while being questioned. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, a lawyer will be appointed for you without cost before questioning. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. If you wish to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you'll still have the right to stop answering questions at any time. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay, first of all. Hang on, hang on. We got to read this. I got to do all this. Oh, that's legal, man. But listen, this is what I want to know. Like, websites does I have in this, all this. Because, like I told them, I, I don't know what they had going on. But at the same time, yeah, I wouldn't. Okay. Well, look, you know, here's the deal. I'm just going to be straightforward and honest with you. Okay. I've worked now for probably 50 fucking hours on this. I'm tired and I want to go home. Okay. Yes, and I don't want to be sitting here bullshitting with you. Me neither. I don't Listen, want... I know way more than you think I know. You can know me. Listen, man. I okay? understand what you're saying. I, man. I've talked to multiple people. You can talk to women. Man. Listen, mom. You can talk to women. I'm going to tell you what I know. I was there. Okay. You feel me? Like and I, and I know. Right? And I'm going to tell you what I know man, what based you... upon video. Okay. We have video okay. from the scene. You can have okay? video. I wish you hope you do. If you have video okay. from the scene, man, And we know that know. what you're saying is not true. Man, you're, you're telling, telling some of it. No. But listen, you're mom. not telling everything. Listen, Okay. Mom. I'm telling you the truth. All the truth. I don't know how y'all sit here trying to play it in no other kind of way, ma'am. That I'm telling you the God on the truth. If you had a video to see it, you will see that I'm telling you the truth. I don't know, like it was, everybody said, it's not, it wasn't no home invasion. It wasn't no home invasion. Some people knew what was going on. But whatever they had, they had, they had going on inside the house, it didn't work out to the way they wanted to work out. It wasn't nobody trying to rob nobody, ma'am. You hear me? Well, so, then you tell me what was going on. Over I'm here. telling you this. It's, a, it's supposed to be a drug. Related deal. Mm -hmm. He both been brought this man Shannon some drugs. Well, God is, I think Shannon didn't have no money or whatever. I don't know whatever. Who was, I was, who was supposed to bring the drugs? David. Okay. And Poo Poo was going with David. Okay. Bring the drugs. I'm telling you, they're not going to tell me everything because I was just, like I told you, I got into a more lady. The same room David just got me out of, that's the room I got from more lady today because we don't have nowhere to live. But I'm living with my family as I moved around. So I don't get in trouble. I don't move around. I don't get in. I don't go to do all, do all this right here. So whatever you say you see on video, you can have on video moment, but you ain't going to see me doing anything because I haven't done anything wrong. Okay. You won't be seen on video going down to load David up in the car after he's been shot? I tried. Yes, I tried to. Okay. I told them I tried to. Mm -hmm. I tried to help him. But I don't know what's going on. After that, I don't know what's going on. I tried to help him. I told the woman in the yard to call the police. I don't know what's going on. The white man was trying to kill us. Describe the white guy. The white, the, the white guy, he was driving a Cadillac. He drove a black Cadillac, photo Cadillac. He was at the house right here, like the corner, the corner on 48. That house right here is a black Cadillac and a red truck that was bad. What, what kind of Cadillac? A Escalade, Cadillac Escalade truck. It was white, a black truck with tin, no tin on it. Were they inside the house? They was inside the house. They all walked inside the house. Man, this one trying to tell you. I'm okay, the only who, one stayed who outside. Who walked inside the house? David and Poo Poo. Mm -hmm. They knocked on the door. Okay. The black dude looked at the curtain. I, I suppose to be, I guess it's Shannon, the black dude who that he was talking to on the phone. He looked at the curtain. He let them in. I stayed outside. I smoked a cigarette, man. I'm telling you, you watch the camera, you'll see this. I'm smoking a cigarette. As we smoked a cigarette, like I tell you, five minutes later after that. Shoot, they shoot out the door. David turned around. Before David turned around, the white dude had a gun in my head. He didn't shoot me because he was trembling. Like I said, I don't know what's going on, sir. By that time, David shot. Found. When David shot, that was a man shot. Boom. I shot out. Like I told you, I shot out. David shot behind me. I was so scared at the time. But me trying to help him, yeah, I tried to help him put him in the car. And I told his people, number TA, I tried to help him put him in the car. But other than everything else, I don't know what's going on. I was blind to that fact. What was the white dude look like? The white dude was not, I think his name was Chris. I can't tell you. He had a white cow. He had like a cowboy hat. He wore like a cowboy hat. And he drive, that's him drive the black Escalade truck. That, that morning, I guess they supposed to went over there and did something earlier that morning and they didn't pay them. They you got the white guy's name is what? I think his name was Chris. The white dude's name was Chris. But the black dude I know name was Shannon because that's who they was talking to on the phone. So, like I told her, man, in the midst of all this right here, the white dude shot David. 
And like I said, I don't know what they had going on. Like I told his family, I don't know what y'all they had well, going what on. What kind of gun the white dude had? It was like a chrome, like a forty-five or something like that. It had a big old barrel on it. So when he put it to me, he didn't want to shoot me. Cause he, like I'm telling him, so I don't know what's going on. So for everybody said a video cam, let's see a video cam, let's see a video cam. I left. Did any shooting happen inside the house? Uh, I think that's when they, I think David did try to shoot back inside. Sorry, I can't tell you the truth. But what kind of gun David have? Uh, it was like a, uh, 38, 38, 38. What kind of gun do you have? I don't have them. I never had them. What kind of gun do Poo Poo have? Uh, I won't say, I think it was a 357 or something like that. Something similar to the, both on revolvers. I never had a gun. And how old is this guy with the cowboy? Does he look older? Cow- he looks older, kind of older, like. Does he live there at the house? Then, all, it was, it was at the door. When they opened the door, the, 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 it was a white girl opening the door. The black dude looking at the curb. The white guy was in there. And like I told them, I don't know what happened. And it scared me. And to the point, I don't want to be around none of them people. And I went to, like I told them, they said, well, won't you do this and won't you do that? Man, I don't know what's going on. But when I see the news and see this right here, I want to go tell, but I don't know what to tell. Like I told them, I don't know what to tell because it was like a crazy situation at that point. It's like a drug deal, but they're saying, I was going to know it says a drug deal relation, home invasion. No, they never broke in the house. It was simple. They let them in. They let them in. It wasn't a home invasion. They let them in. So when I check the cameras, I'm going to have to look and see, you know, this is what this person was wearing, this person. What were you wearing? I was wearing, I got out of work that morning, that night at security. I worked security. Uh-huh. I got out of work. Where do you work at? Well, I was working at, uh, at this point, I, me, I work with my boss man, B. Kenny. Okay. You can call him and tell you that. I was trying to help him this right. I, like I said, I tried to help him put him in the car and try to help him because, like I said, I still don't know what's going on. And still, like right now, I still to the point I don't know what they did inside the house, what made the, the trigger, the, the, the commotion, what to bring it. Okay. Now, that white guy that pulled up, what kind of car was he in? He was in like a, a green looking car. It was like a green with a mist or a mist door on the passenger side. A what kind of door? Like a match, uh, like a, like a, a different, different color. Yeah, a different color door on the passenger side. Did he go in the house? Yeah, he walked in the house too. Now, he's the one who had the gun or no? No. The one who had the gun was already inside the house. I heard so many stories. Like you said, I heard so many stories. But people saying this and that. Right? Like I tell people, you can say what you want to say. But I know I did not hurt him. I did not bring no horn to nobody. I was like. Well, I don't believe that anybody really meant to hurt him. I don't think that you or Pooh meant to shoot David. It's just kind of one of those things where, you know, it just happened. He got in the way. No, he just shit went down. He, he man, let me be real with you, man. He shot first. He shot first. That's why I took off running. When the dude had the gun to me, he wasn't the white guy had to go to me for about like five minutes. He was not gonna shoot me. And he what he he said to me just just sit still, just stay there. That's what he was telling me. Just stay there. But but you'd have to go inside to have the gun on you. No, I'm at the doorway right here. If you look at the camera sir, outside, the door. It's a burning door. Mm-hmm. I'm standing right here by the thing. It's the thing right there. It's a, I was smoking my cigarettes outside. They never let me in. That's what I'm telling you. Whatever they had going on inside, it was not no robbery or nothing like that. I'm, I'm still at the doorway like right here. Well, what, what, what made I'm the white guy cigarette. pull the gun on y'all? I don't know what they had going on inside the house. So that's what I'm, I'm keep telling you this now. I don't know what they had going on inside the house. But the white guy, he did not shoot me because he had the gun on me for like five minutes standing there. You feel me? And I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Now, how'd y'all get back? How who get back? How'd y'all get back home? Uh, uh, what they say? How did how it happen? I could put him in a car. What car? Uh, poo poo them car. Okay. I could put him in a car with poo poo them. So, poo poo them and listen them. Poo poo say, oh, I'm finna go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. You feel me? I gotta go with something. I gotta get the drugs off me. This is exactly what he said. I get the drugs off me. I said, well, you go ahead. They left me. I'm walking. I walked back past the police. When it was coming down, sir, it was coming down 46, coming come down all uh, the, 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 the living highway, whatever. I'm walking. I ain't have my security shirt. My security shirt, my hat was in their car. All right, here's the deal. That's a bunch of bullshit right there. You said you, you want to say, man. I'm not going to get in the car, I watched, bro. I watched the fucking video. No, I got out the, the car. car. Listen, when they back the car back, man, 
and went back that way, I got out no, the car. They hauled ass. Yes, they I, hauled fucking ass. Right hand to God. You man. got in the car, right hand to God. You got in that car. I did get in the and car. And you drove the fuck off with I the rest no, of them. I dr no, they bad back, man. When they bad back, he went that way. When they went that way, man, I'm right here to God, man. I'm going to tell you no lie, man. I got the car, the corner up the thing, the road. It's right time there, for you to get right with God, okay? I've been right you with God, man. You need to get right with God and tell me the fucking truth. I'm, man, I'm right getting here. up and I'm getting out of this room. Right here to God, man. Listen here, man. Right here to God, man. I have kids, man. You hear me? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you the truth, man. I didn't, they don't have nothing to do with them. I'm telling you, there wasn't no home invasion. Whatever they had going inside the house, I don't know what they had going on, man. I was not a part of none of this. That's what I'm telling you. I'm not a part of none of this. I don't think I hear what they said. I try to help them. You're right. I try to help them. They put me in the car. Poopoo -poo said he's going to go somewhere else. You get me? I got out the car like I told you. I got out the car. Hey, I walked. I walked with Patty Police. I walked. Okay, okay. I'm not from here, man. I walked to TA. All right, stop Stop right there a minute. All right, so you got a friend or a so-called friend of yours that's been shot and laying in the road and is dead, right? He wasn't dead when, I, when we left, sir. Okay. All right. So... When did you call 911? I didn't call 911. The you black didn't. woman in the yard okay. called 911. When, when did you go to the police and say, man, this shit just went happen? Well, sir, like I told this, sir, listen, sir. Like I told his family, I went to his family and told his brother what happened. I don't know what to do. You feel me? Because. Well, you know the difference between right and wrong. What's yes, the right sir. thing to do? The right thing was to do was, the day was my birthday. My fiance said, tell you that. The day was my birthday. Today? Yes. Happy birthday. I was going. Like Monday morning, I was gonna go if they asked me for question. I asked people what I need to do. But at the same time, man, with this white man shooting at them and kid and he shot him, and then you, if you see my face, you know my face. I'm not from here like that. I'm from Alabama. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to do. Then his family talking about shit and threats at me. His family was sitting threats at me and saying this and that right there. I'm telling y'all what happened, what happened. So first, you talking about a bunch of bull crap, man. It's not a bunch of bull crap, man. I swear to God, it's not. Whether your story's right or whether your story's wrong, all right, somebody got killed, okay? All right? You didn't call the police. You didn't render aid or call for an ambulance. And sir. This happened three days ago on, now. Sir, me, sir. Okay? The woman in the yard, she would tell you, I asked him to call the ambulance. The black woman, I asked mm -hmm. him to call the ambulance. I did. I asked him to call the ambulance. The ambulance okay. was on the way. Then why didn't you come forward? For four about what, sir? I don't know what was going on. Like I keep telling you, sir, I don't know what's going on. I'm outside of the yard. You, you what, 37 years old? I just turned 37 and, today. And, and you've been you've been in state prison before. Right? And last time I've been in prison was 2009. So every time I've been last time I've been in trouble. So, so you, you know how all this works, bro. Right? Yes, I know how it okay. works. But at the same time, sir, how can something work about something? I'm telling you all the truth about, it, sir. So well, you're telling some bits and pieces, sir. I don't uh, think I'm telling you not, not sir. Real nigga stuff, sir. The reason why I got any gun back got the gun, sir, because Poo Poo took that man's gun. He took Poo took his drugs. Poo Poo got his drugs. Who's drugs? David's drugs. So so where's where's the gun? You got a gun in your room? I don't have no gun. You don't have no gun in your I room? I never had it. They said police searched my room and everything. I never had no weapon. I don't own a weapon. Okay. That was their stuff. I ain't had nothing to do with that. I told you, sir, when they is, got is any of their stuff in your room? Who? It, of anybody's stuff, is it in your room? Uh, probably uh, uh, the phone is. What phone? It's a phone that uh, Poo Poo gave me. It was a black phone. But the phone was, the, he gave me the phone during the midst of it. That morning, he went over there. And then he, he said he gave it to me that morning when I got in the car. That day I got in the car, he said he had the phone that morning from they went over there. So this place they went back this morning, they went there already twice, man. Mm. That's what I'm telling y'all. It was not no home, this is not no home invasion no, at all. This right here, sir. I, I don't have no gun. I don't know people telling y'all this about this right here. Hang tight, and we're going to get you over to the jail so we can get this show on the road, okay? Okay, so what did they charge me with? Murder. How can I get charged with murder? Read the report. Sir? Read the report. Report about what? They're going to get the paperwork. That's crazy. I can charge somebody that had nothing to do with it. Man, I ain't got nothing to do with none of this shit, man. What the fuck? If you look at the, you say you got cameras, then you look at the camera right, then you'll see me at the fucking right inside the yard the whole time. No, what them folks got going on, man? That's real crazy. All right, Clean, here's the deal. You probably know how this works. Okay, well, just hear me out. We want to get your DNA sample from the inside of your cheek. Well, yeah. hang on. I understand you're ready and you're, you're going to say yes, but I still have to read this to you. Okay. So that's the end of Cleveland's interview. Seemed to me he was quite desperate, asking for leniency, claiming it wasn't me, please help me, etc., etc. 
Unfortunately for him, all the evidence pointed to him. He was sentenced to 50 years in prison as he was considered the main culprit. Now, let's move on to Tatiana. So let's talk about Tuesday again. All right, and I want you to be completely honest okay. with me because I understand that we're talking about a murder investigation, yes, okay? Yes. And if you tell me a lie in a murder investigation, you can get charged for it. Yes, ma'am. Okay? And not only that, but you being with him today, and I've got information that you've been with him the whole time. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Right? Yes. You can get charged for that, too. Yes, ma'am. Okay? You got six kids. Yes. You need to worry about yourself. Yes, ma'am. You need to worry about your own freedom. Yes, ma'am. Okay? So we're going to be honest. All right, so let's talk about Tuesday. What did you do Tuesday morning when you woke up? I went to the Social Security Board where I went to Truman Owens' apartment, started to pick up my friend, and then we went to the Social Security Board. At what time? Um... Around eight or nine, maybe. Okay. And what building did you pick your friend up? In G building. And who's your friend? I said you know. Okay. And how long were you down at Social Security? Um, about two hours. Who was with you besides Ocelia? Let's only go. Okay. And after y'all went to Social Security, then where'd you go? Um, back to Shumanov's apartment. Okay. What apartment were you at? Um, G. Where'd y'all park at? Um, by the street, the first parking lot by the road. Okay, and when you got back to TA, then what did you do? Um, went to check my kids out of school. Okay, and that was at which school? It's at Jones. All right, so you go back to TA. How long were you there? Um, before you went and got your kids. About maybe an hour. Okay. Also. Did you walk around? Were y'all outside socializing? Just outside, yes. Okay. Now, when you were outside, who'd you see outside? Um, Lentonio, um, David, and Cleveland, whatever, Cleve. Okay. And what was Lentonio wearing? Um, I can't remember. Black pants, I think, or red. I can't remember what, what he had on. Okay. And what was Cleveland wearing? A uh, security shirt. Okay. And I don't know what kind of pants he had on. All right. And what about David D? Um, I don't know. Describe the security shirt. It's black and white, and it got security ring on the back of it. Okay. Now, whenever y'all were out there just socializing, you, David D, Antonio, and um, see Cleveland, yes. Ocelia was with you? Yes. Okay. And where were y'all at specifically? Sent by the car. And your car was parked where? By the road. And you guys were by your car or yes. somebody else's car? By my car. All right. Now, was that over by G building or a different yes. building? G building. Okay. And how long do you think that you guys were out there? Um, Maybe an hour or so. Okay. Everybody just kind of talking, hanging out. Yes, ma'am. You know, just cutting up. Anybody else out there come by, stop, chat, anything like that? No, ma'am, not that I remember. Okay. And then at that point, what time do you think it was? Um, around, you talking about before I picked the kids up or after? Yeah, when did, you left there after being mm -hmm. there about an hour, you went and got your kids. What time do you think that was? It was around 12, maybe, because okay. I had to be at work at two. Okay. And so you left. Who was in the car with you? Me and Antonio. Okay. Did you take your car? Yes. All right. And who was driving? Antonio. And you were in the passenger seat? Yes. Okay. Remember what I told you about honesty? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And about lying to me during an investigation, a murder investigation? Yes, ma'am. You can get charged for that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you think that I didn't go back to Whataburger and get your time clock? I know you did. Exactly. Why are you lying to me about that? I'm not. Because when I left, we went back to TA. I mean, that doesn't make sense. That's not even explaining why you lied to me about how long you were there. It was around 2. I clocked in where I tried to clock in. Okay. I tried to clock in at 2. Their computers was down. So, I guess since I was being in training, I had to work on the computer first. So, after, after that... 
I went back to TA. Okay, just, like, just, just stop. Just stop. Okay. You weren't there until after four. No, ma'am. Okay. I've confirmed that with them. So stop digging a deeper hole for yourself. Okay. Yes, ma'am. If you come out and you tell me the truth and be straight with me. Okay. All right. We have no problems. Yes, ma'am. But you start lying to me and going down that road, and there's nothing I can do to help you anymore. Yes, ma'am. Okay. This is not worth you losing your freedom. Yes, ma'am. And losing your kids, all six of them. Yes, ma'am. You have to stop worrying about covering for him and his bullshit. Yes, ma'am. He's going to prison for the rest of his life. Okay. So whether you want to sit down there with him, that's up to you. No, you sit down here and talk this bullshit. You're going to go with him. I don't. So you better get right. Yes, sir. All right. So you were there for how long at Whataburger? Because I already know the answer. It's about five minutes, maybe. Okay. And did Lantonio just stay there in the parking lot? Yes. All right. And then you leave Whataburger. And you and go ahead to Chimino. Okay. All right. Now, here's where we get real serious. Yes, ma'am. All right. From this point on, you tell me everything, and we can get through it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. We can get through it. If you're honest with me, I'm going to be right there helping you. Yes, ma'am. But you tell me a lie and tell me some bullshit, and there's nothing I can do for you anymore. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, so you went back to TA with Lantonio. And then what? They drove off. Who drove off? Lantonio now. Lantonio. Lantonio, Cleveland, and Deputy. And what were they going to do? Um, rob somebody. Okay. Now, how do you know that? He told me. Who told you? Lantonio. And why is he going to go rob somebody? I guess because we needed money for the bills so we can move. And he was like, that's his only option to get money for the bills. Now, why were they going to go over and rob that person? I'm not sure. I guess because he had a lot of money. Now, has Lantonio been hanging out with that boy over there? Yes. Okay. Now, who is that? I don't know his name. I think it's like Stefan something. Okay. Did he hang out with him that day that you know of? Not that I remember. No, ma'am. He probably mm-hmm. went over there before. Why do you say that? Um, Because he used to buy drugs from him. And the, the boy used to buy stuff from him. Right. So they were both kind of yes. buying stuff from each other. Yes, ma'am. Like you got some. And you yes, got ma'am. Some sort of a mutual thing. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> so when they left, is Cleve still wearing that security shirt? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And do you remember what Lantonio was wearing? No, ma'am, I don't. Okay, and what about David D? No. He said he had on red pants, I believe. Okay. Lantonio said he had on red pants. Now, were they talking about their plan while you were standing there? No, not at first. They started talking about it, like, after, after I came back from Water Burgers. Mm-hmm. And what were they saying? No, he was just like, Antonio was just telling David D that he got a leg and asked him, did he want to go with him to hit the leg? And Cleve was like, I go too. Okay. And so all three of them went to go rob the dude. All right. Where'd they get the guns from? Um, I'm not sure. I think David D already had his own and Cleve already had his own. Okay. Now what about Antonio? He didn't have one. I mean, we know he had one. So no, where he get it from? He didn't. He didn't have one. Like, the only two people that had one was Cleve and David D. Unless they switched. And that's on my baby. My dead baby. So, when they get over there, mm-hmm. I mean, what the fuck happened? I have no idea. All he told me was he went in, I guess it was his lick or whatever, however you want to call it. You mean Lantonio's? Yes. Okay. And he went in and both of them had the gun, Cleve and David D had the gun. I guess he 
he told me David D. started busting back at the white man, but I guess by that time he was already shot. Okay. So what you're saying is that the white guy's the one that from started what, shooting first. From what he's telling me. And then David E started shooting back? Yes. Okay. Because, you know, we're hearing all this stuff out there and we're hearing bits and pieces. Yes, ma'am. Um, and one of the things that we're trying to figure out here is some stuff that people are saying is that Antonio actually kind of kind of helped kind of helped out somehow. What are you saying? Like you saying that Antonio actually what helped him? Well, I mean, obviously he didn't save his life because yes, David D's dead now. Yes, ma'am. But did he do something to try to help him out? Kind of no. Not that I know of. You didn't hear about anything pushing him out of the way or anything? No, no, ma'am. Okay. We know that you were driving the car, right? You went over there with them? I didn't go with them, but I was driving. Yeah, you drove yes. around the block while they were going to hit the road? Yes, okay. and I fought the car. We know it wasn't supposed to go down like that. Yes, ma'am, and that's what I told him. We know that, but I mean, why do you... What were you thinking? I don't know. I was just like trying to just make sure my kids was great. But I told him I didn't want to have nothing to do with me. He was just like, we just drive me. So I drove him and he was like, is you going to park? And I was like, no. And I drove and I went to the store. Okay. When he got shot and they were trying to load him in their car, they pulled, what did they pull off him? You said, I'm sorry. When he got shot and he fell in the middle of the street, you pulled back up in the car. Uh -huh. And then Pooh and Cleve Please. were trying to load him up in the car. Yes. What did they take off of him? His gun? Nothing that I seen. They didn't take his gun? Oh, uh, yeah, they probably did if he didn't have it on him. I'm not sure. I ain't, I ain't see what they took off of him. Who got the dope? Oh, I'm not sure. Probably Cleve. Because Lantonio ain't have it. This is who you identified as Cleve. Yes. Okay. And let's just talk about him again for just a second. Okay. This is who was wearing what now? The security shirt. Okay. And was he with you before and after you dropped them off at that house? Yes. Okay. All right. And did you see Cleve with a gun? Yes. Okay. Um. And then Cleve was one of the ones that you picked up. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Um, let me show you this. Do you recognize this person at all? No, ma'am. Okay. You don't recognize that no. person? Right. And then this right here, who is this? Yes, I'm here. Okay. You can just sign that right there. And this person is who to you? My baby baby. Okay. Was Lantonio with you when you left Room in Arms and went over to that house? Yes. Okay. And did you drop Lantonio off? Yes, ma'am. And did you see him go to that house? I drove off, yes. Okay. And did you pick Lantonio up from that yes. house? Well, not from the house, but down the road. Okay. And what was Lantonio doing when you picked him up? Nothing. He was just nervous and he was like, they just kept my kids in. And he was just like, he started crying. Okay. And when you pulled up to pick Lantonio and Cleve up, what were they doing? Trying to help him get in the car, trying to help um, David get in the car. Okay. Whose idea was it to do the robbery? Yes. Who's? Lantonio. Lantonio's yes. idea to do the robbery. Yes. Okay. And what was the what was the robbery for? Um, just more money. More money for yes. what? 
so we can move. So you and Antonio yes. can move into a new place. Yeah. All right. Um, anything else you need to have? Can you take care of it? I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. My throat hurt. It's okay. Can you raise your hand again for me? Do you swear everything that you told me today is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, so help you God. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so that's the end of her interview. Now, Tatiana. If you didn't gather, she was 27. She also had eight kids. How many of these were Lintonios? I don't know. But either way, holy Moses. She received the same sentencing as Lintonio. She was sentenced to 24 years in prison. Now, I did a little bit of digging. I found her prison profile. Of course, this doesn't mean anything to the actual sentencing or the crime. But it's interesting nonetheless. Take a look. Thank you for watching.